uh, we knew going in that uh, Kansas State uh, they do a great job defensively and they're very physical and they was pretty good on the boards and we tried to hold our own there and didn't quite get that done but uh, proud of our guys. It's a tough, it's a great crowd, it's a great building and Frank does such a fantastic job with uh, with his guys. Obviously catching them a little short-handed makes a world of difference, uh, no denying that, but uh, proud of our guys and uh, looking forward to cheering on the Cats the rest of the year. Coach, you, if you found out they were short-handed shortly before tip-off, how did your team kind of adjust to Poland and not being in the game? Uh, most importantly, we just you know, mentally didn't want to approach any differently because we knew they were going to be very physical and they're still going to be really good defensively and the crowd was going to be really good and you know just had to stay with uh, the thoughts that we had as we, uh, as we were preparing for Poland and, and uh, the big fellow, Curtis. Oh, yeah. yeah, thanks, uh, Curtis. So, um, uh, but that makes a difference, you know, for them. It, it, I think that affects them more than us, you know. Perhaps I thought they made a great run in the, in, late in the first half. Uh, the guys you know, made a lot of good plays. Crowd really got into it. At that point, we contributed with a couple of uh, you know poor decisions, but uh, uh, still, I think it affects them probably more than than us. As you reset the focus with the guys after that eight field drop in the first half. Yeah, it's one of those games, you get in those games sometimes, which is it's just hard to get clean looks. It's hard to get the scores. And we had some looks that didn't go, and then that started working on us a little bit. Uh, they were very aggressive and, and pounding it inside, and, you know, it comes down to they didn't make some free throws, and we made a few more, and really the difference. What about 34 minutes between three-pointers, and uh, how important, well, first of all, your perimeter shooting for your team has been a struggle here recently, but how big was Oscar's three with 120 left? Any bucket's big at that point. Uh, it gave us a little separation. Uh, what it was up five, I'm not sure. But uh, any, any bucket at that point is, is critical because the uh, baskets were hard to, hard to come by uh, both ways and, and gave us a little bit of a separation. It gave us a couple possessions there. And, and uh, to see that go in was huge. Do you sense at all that without pulling on the floor there in about the final three, four minutes, their younger guards may have tensed up a little bit on the playmaking aspect? Oh, I don't, I don't have any knowledge of that. Uh, you know, Frank and Drew said, but, uh, you know, obviously without pulling out there, a guy that gets the ball late games, uh, they've got to go some other some other direction, and that's a big adjustment for any team. Well, I know, I mean, you're deep in the Kansas State tradition, obviously. Well, looking at the Kansas State brand and knowing Jacob Pullen is, is going to miss three games because of uh, clothing or something like that, I mean, what does that mean to you as a Kansas State alum? It's disappointing to see them at less than full strength. Uh, it, it's tough for, for Coach Martin to deal with uh, because he's done such a fantastic job and he's made Kansas Staters everywhere very proud of how hard they play and the success they've had. And uh, he's not going to tolerate anything. You know, young guys make, make decisions. I, I have no idea what happened here, but, but uh, that's, that's one of the things in coaching that's, that's, that's difficult because you, you, know, you certainly talk to them about it um, and they have to make good decisions and uh, it doesn't always happen. You know, but uh, but uh, Frank will get him going. He, he's, he'll get him right back on track. Talk a little bit about Oscar's block on Samuels late down the stretch there. <clears throat> Big block there. Uh, I don't know what the score was at that point, but uh, I think it cut it to a one or two. And uh, when you come away with the block, all of a sudden you've got a little margin. It's not like you're you're uh, you know you're playing from uh, just a one possession game. You're, you're playing with maybe a two possession uh, difference, and that makes a big difference. Coach, could you talk about Carlos's play off the bench? I mean, he got in foul trouble, obviously, but he was able to, to do a few little things for you. Yeah, big guys just foul like crazy, and uh, we did it again tonight. Uh, Carlos is fantastic. Uh, didn't play much, didn't play the whole second half, but I thought that five minutes in the first half, he did a really good job, and he's going to keep getting better, and, and uh, fun to work with every day in practice and watch, to, watch his progress. Coach, you defended him at the free throw line really well. You've been a shoot. You've been in the. You've had to go up and, and knock down shots. I'm sure you had times when you had bad. How do you explain that when teams get cold like that from the free throw line? Good momentum at uh, you know shooting free throws, just like in other parts of the game. If guys step up and make a couple, and uh, that uh, when Roberts made two, that was a big swing. You know, we have Anthony misses a couple. Roberts goes down and makes a couple. Huge swing in the ball game there. <laughs> but, uh, you know. What looks to be advantage us uh, it works exactly the other way, but that's free throws. It, it's a confidence matter. I don't know about Frank's guys, but typically with our guys, it's, it's generally a confidence matter. And, and uh, we we made uh, you know a decent percentage tonight. Coach, a lot of case staters uh, with your history, obviously, would like to see maybe this game continue the matchup between UNLV and K State. Is it something you're open to in the future? We are sure. It's uh, you know again. It's, 
there's mixed emotions about it, but uh, it, it's good for us because, you know, Frank came out last uh, year and kicked our tails pretty good, and that helped us in terms of trying to be more physical. We're not a physical group. Uh, tonight will help us a lot. You know, we got a couple people in our league that, you know, uh, San Diego State's really physical and they do a great job. BYU is a tough place to play. New Mexico, you know, a lot of places in the league are, are tough places to play. So this will help us with that. And, and whether it's here or, or Manhattan, uh, we know it's tough, but we know it's a good, uh, good environment, good atmosphere. And again, just terrific respect for what Frank's doing.